Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right. I had more than a handful of people ask me how changes to the Iraqi dinar is going to affect the Iraqi stock market. I could have swore I did a video on this, but just in case, explain to you guys all over again so you guys can get an idea of what you've gotten yourself into. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. Okay, so, oh, I think it was, what, a couple, three, four years ago? There was a group of us who were invited to join a couple of different people who were investing in the Iraqi stock exchange. You can buy into these groups. You bought like these uh, blocks. It's more like you bought a percentage of the overall investment. So depending on how many blocks you got is would determine your portion of the overall profits or losses. <laughs> I remember when I first heard about this, we were told that if we buy the stock now and when they reinstate the rate, the value of the stock would really shoot up and we would have tons and tons of money. So we're going to go over that right now because a lot of people are asking questions about that. Once I made videos explaining what a re-denomination is versus changing the exchange rate and how that affects the currency, now people are wondering, does this have any impact on the Iraqi stock exchange? And in fact, it does. All right. So like I said, we'll get into this. First of all, this is the Iraqi Stock Exchange. There's not a lot of companies listed on here. You have your regular stock, which is like common stock. You have a second market, which is like your preferred stock. These are the ones where you would get dividends and stuff like that. The one thing that you'll notice is that they are listing on here. The cost of the stock is in USD. Not the Iraqi dinar, okay? That's important. This is how much it costs to buy these stock in US dollars. Okay, a couple of things that are being talked about. And content creators out there keep conflating them or mixing them up, mixing them together when they're two different events, okay? One is if the Iraqi dinar is re-denominated. That's when they lop off the zeros, delete the zeros, reduce the zeros, remove the zeros, call it whatever you want, but they're all the same thing. That is a re-denomination. If Iraq were to re-denominate the Iraqi dinar, it would not necessarily require any adjustments to the Iraq stocks. Re-denomination of a currency involves changing the face value of the currency by dropping zeros from the existing notes and issuing new currency at a lower value. They're talking about the nominal value. So if I come to you with a 25,000 dinar, the nominal value of the 25,000 dinar is 25,000. That 25,000 dinar represents 25,000 single dinars all in one note. So if we do a re-denomination and we remove the zeros off of the currency, well, then they have to make whole new dollars, okay? They're gonna look different. They're smaller denominations. You're most likely gonna have a one dinar, a five dinar, a 10 dinar, a 20 dinar, a 50 dinar, and a 100 dinar. That's most likely what you're going to get. It's going to look a lot like our currency. So when it says new currency at a lower value, they're only talking about the nominal. So instead of having 25,000 written across the bill, it's only going to be 25. That's what they're talking about. This process does not directly impact the underlying value of an asset, such as stocks in the country. Stock prices are determined by various factors, including company performance, economic conditions, and investor sediment rather than nominal value of the currency. Therefore, a re-denomination of the Iraqi dinar would not inherently necessitate adjustments to Iraq stocks. Redenomination can pose challenges for the stock market in terms of adjustment costs and uncertainties. 
The transition period during re-denomination may cause a short-term volatility as market participants adapt to the new currency system. Companies may need to revalue their assets and liabilities, which could impact their balance sheets and profitability in the short term. My guess is it's going to take people at least a couple of months to adapt to the new currency. But obviously on your accounting books or on your accounting software, you're not going to leave it at the same denomination as the old notes. You need to make the adjustments. So that's going to take time. People are going to have to go into the system and remove the three zeros and make adjustments to all their bookkeeping. Also keep in mind, some companies don't have their things automated. It's done manually, so it's going to take a little time because people might be confused about what's going on. You might see it have a short-term effect on a stock market. People not sure if they should invest. Some people are going to be confused thinking they lost a lot of value from the currency when it goes from 25,000 dinar down to 25. There's going to be a little bit of a bump in the road, but people will adapt pretty quick. Those type of challenges are most likely going to have, if anything, the effects are only going to be short term. Having said that, once the dust has settled and people have adapted to the new currency, one potential effect on re-denomination on the stock market is increased investor confidence. Oh yeah. Reducing the number of zeros in the currency can create a perception of stability and strength in the economy, which may attract more domestic and foreign investors to participate in the stock market. This influx of investment could lead to increased trading activity, liquidity, and overall market growth. One of the reasons why foreign investors might not invest in the Iraqi stock exchange is because they're not familiar with the conversion or the bigger denominations might confuse them. Once a re-denomination takes place, they don't have those hyperinflated notes. It gives the perception that the economy is doing very well and that the currency is much stronger. Moreover, re-denomination can also positively impact corporate earnings and valuations. Companies listed on the Iraqi stock market may benefit from a more stable currency environment, which can improve their financial reporting accuracy and transparency. As a result, investors may have greater trust in financial statements, leading to higher stock prices and improved market performance. So just depending on what's going on within Iraq, especially with their economy, as long as no hassles and companies are coming in and they want to invest in Iraq, I think we're going to start to see a slow climb in the value of the Iraqi stocks. Like I said, there's not a lot of them there. So a re-denomination in the beginning might have a short-term negative effect. And I won't so much say that it's negative, just that there has to be some adjustments made. So I, I just think of anything, you won't see so much trading happening until people realize what's going on. That shouldn't take more than a couple of months, okay? But once all the dust has settled, like I said, then you're going to see people start turning to the Iraqi stock market as they have a better understanding of what's going on with the currency. Now, that's a re-denomination. That's only removing the zeros off of the Iraqi dinar. That's much more different than increasing the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar, okay? Two different things. I know they're out there telling you, no, those are the same thing, but they're wrong as usual. Now let's talk about the dinar. If the Iraqi dinar increases the exchange rate. If Iraq increases the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar, otherwise known as the IQD, it can have a significant impact on the country's stock market. So this is different. A re-denomination will have a slight effect, if at all, versus changing the exchange rate. Increase currency value. When a country's currency increases in value, it becomes stronger relative to other currencies. This means that imports become relatively cheaper for the country with the stronger currency. As the country's currency strengthens, it takes fewer units of the local currency to purchase goods denominated in foreign currencies. This results in lower costs for importing goods and services from other countries. In other words, if you increase the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar, then what you've done is increase the purchasing power for Iraqis. So that, of course, will make imports, goods and services that you're bringing into your country from other countries become cheaper because your currency is stronger against other world currencies. 
With cheaper imports due to a stronger currency, there is a likelihood of an increase in the, in the volume of imports as businesses and consumers find it more affordable to purchase foreign goods. That's both a positive and a negative, okay? Sure, you have more purchasing powers against another country, but domestically, you could be shooting yourself in the foot, and it could affect the stock market. A stronger currency can make domestically produced goods relatively more expensive compared to imported products. This may lead to challenges for domestic industries that rely on exports or compete with imported goods. So in other words, if it costs you $400 to make a TV in Iraq, but you can import one for $300, well, where are the consumers going to go? They're going to go to the cheaper TV. And if you're importing that TV, well, then that doesn't help your local companies out. You have to find that happy balance somewhere in there so that your exports aren't too expensive and you're not making your imports so cheap that people would rather buy imports than buy locally. A significant increase in imports due to a stronger currency can potentially widen the trade deficit. If export levels do not adjust accordingly, this imbalance between imports and exports can have broader economic implications for the country. Like I said, you want to find that happy middle ground. You want foreign investors to come into Iraq and make goods there and open up companies and get people to work. Well, then goods and services cost more money and then it forces companies to increase the cost of the goods that they're manufacturing and then you're not so competitive on the international market. I gave the example of the TVs. So depending on what direction the currency takes Iraq for companies, it could increase their profits depending on what they're manufacturing or what services they provide and how much of a demand there is for their product. If the currency is too strong and you force a company to increase the cost of their product that they're selling, you could price them right out of competition meaning people would rather have a cheaper product made by somebody else than what Iraq is making. This doesn't help their economy. So yes, it's nice when they increase the value of the Iraqi dinar, it gives them more purchasing power, but you don't want to increase it so much that your products are not competitive with other products made elsewhere. So re-denomination has very little, if at all, impact on the stock values. Increasing the exchange rate, obviously that's something different altogether. When I spoke to a lot of people, their impression is that if we bought the Iraqi stock, then once they increased the value of the Iraqi dinar, let's say they reinstated it to 322, then everybody would be instant millionaires overnight, just like you would with the Iraqi dinar. That's not the case. Like I said, the stock is already priced out in American dollars. So no, the increase in the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar is not going to make everybody millionaires on a stock market. Well, I guess it really just depends on the company. But, you know, like I said, the perception was that if they increase the value of the Iraqi dinar, then the stocks would shoot out the roofs. The only way you're going to see uh, any major increase in the stock value is if the company goes on a tear and outside investors start coming in and buying up the stock. And if I'm being honest, when it comes to the Iraqi stock exchange, that's something to be excited for. Because I really do think after they re-denominate and they remove those zeros, start using a lower denomination as the economy grows in strength, so will the currency. This will stimulate the economy. Outside investors will feel like there's a strong economy here. They will come here and they will invest in the stock market as well, increasing the value of all the stocks that we have. Anyways, if you got any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer those. So that's it for now. I hope that answers your questions. I'm out.